Alright, hey guys, so I'm getting to fire alarms and such, and today we're going to be doing a testing and overview of my new Silent Night SD500 PSDA dual action pull station. So, this pull station was created by Silent Night for their Silent Night IntelliNight panels. I do not have an IntelliNight panel, I have a basic 5208 conventional panel, and this is an addressable pull station. So what I did is that there were two leads that came out from the activating switch of the pull station. I tied directly into those leads, completely bypassing the addressable module on it, thus making an addressable pull station a conventional pull station. Now this can be an either dual or single action pull station. Right now I do have it set up to be dual action. So there's this lift bar and you lift it and then it will say pull. But up top, there are screws and if you unscrew it you can take the lift tab off but for the purpose of the test today I'll be leaving the lift tab on over at the board when I pull this you will be hearing spectral alert advances so don't be surprised by that and then over here is my spectral alert classic horn strobe but I only have the strobe hooked up over here since this is a strobe only zone over here so we will take a look inside the pull station first. We are going to disable the auxiliary pull zone. So that way I won't get alarmed when I open up the pull station. So just for simplicity, we're gonna push the lift tab back. I personally have never seen one of these in its dual action state. I always see it in its single action state, which looks just like this. So we'll put our, your key in. It works with any Silent Night installer key, not an operator key, but an installer key. The operator key will only work inside the key to the front of an enunciator or the key switch in the front of the panel. It will not reset pull stations or open panel or cabinet doors. So we're going to take our installer key and open up the pull station. So here is basically what it looks like inside. Here we have our nice activation switch, real long. The tab that the lock catches on. Right here in that circle, if it were hooked up with an addressable system, that uh, there'd be a red LED that'd be flashing in there. And that could be seen through the little port right there. And then once it goes into alarm, then the LED will be solid, thus showing that it is, well, an alarm. So you can see here, here is your specs for the SD500 PSDA. So I think we will close it back up and then we will pull it. So let us reactivate the zone. We're gonna bring the lift tab down. We'll pull it dual action, then we'll pull it single action, and then we will key test it. So I'm actually just thought of this. We're gonna put the panel into walk test. So that way it can go and then it'll just kind of reset on its own. So panels and walk test, I think that's a great way to test out a pull station. So, let's pull this. The keys and the enunciator. And here we go. And then to reset it, you put your key in, turn, close, and turn again. And yes, the uh, Spectra Alerts, when they're on sync, they do that. Like it went like four or five times before it really started Code 3. It like does a, a long and then like three or four pulses. Yeah, so now we'll pull it in its single action state. Keys in here. Now let's pull it. This is a lot easier to pull than the uh, Life Safety MS501 pull station I have. This one is way easier to pull. There's not as much resistance, which is nice. The only thing that I don't like is how, how, uh, how much force it swings down with, because this is a real heavy front plate. It's how much force it swings down with. And like if it was flush mounted, it'd be smacking into the wall down there. And that's kind of my only downside to it. But I think it's really cool pull station. It's kind of reflective, which is really cool. I like that you can make it either single or dual action. So yeah, let's key test it. 
do that, you just put your key in, turn, and open. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool pull station. I really like it. I've wanted one for a while. I finally found one for a pretty reasonable price. It's real nice construction. I finally now have a Silent Night pull station for my Silent Night panel. I hope to be getting more Silent Night pulls and stuff for it. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.